Hi folks, Lou here and I'm going to talk briefly about generalship versus war. Generalship is part of war, but not the ugly part, not the essence of war. As William Tecumseh Sherman, a famous general from the American Civil War, said afterward, Some of you young men think that war is all glamour and glory, but let me tell you boys, it is all hell. That is not generalship. That's death and dirt and horrible things that people do to each other. Now, generalship can be expressed or employed in situations that aren't real war, such as war games, whether they're commercial war games or professional war games. Although, even in commercial war games, frequently what we get is a imitation of generalship, not real gener generalship, because a real general has to worry about people dying. A real general has a lot less information than a general in most commercial war games. There's a vast amount of uncertainty in war, as people like Clausewitz have pointed out. And the best general is the one who manages to cope with that and um, find ways of reading the intentions of the enemy and simply being lucky. So some wrong-headed fool uh, said about me online, he's telling the world that generalship is not closely related to war. That's not what I'm saying at all. They are closely related, but generalship tends to be treated as without the ugliness and much of the uncertainty of warfare. Warfare is just an arena for the generalship, kind of like a game. Thanks for listening.